I'd like to go over the basic tools and then go over the procedure for how to do a cam timing check and valve clearance check on the R1250 shift head series of engines. Um, when I start off, I get plenty of paper towels. I have a good headlight. If I'm uh, in a non-well-lit area, this is in my camera studio, so I have plenty of lights. And typically you do this in association with a 12K oil change service. So you need an oil filter and you'll probably use an air filter. Um, you're going to use a 10 millimeter hex for draining the drain plug out of the crankcase for the engine oil. And I also use, an, uh, here's a T50 that's used on the bolts that hold the valve cover on the T30 is used for all the little bolts that uh, hold the bearing cap on. I have uh, an eight millimeter hex and that's for the top dead center access plug. And then there's a little four millimeter hex and that goes for the timing trigger on the side of the left hand exhaust uh, cam. I have a 13 millimeter socket that I use in conjunction with the uh, cam chain tensioner tool there's a 17 millimeter socket that's used to uh, release the uh, cam chain tensioner that's in the bottom of the engine. As far as cam tools go, uh, I have an engine turning bar that uh, I make, the uh, cam chain tensioner, which I make, the top dead center tool uh, also, which I make, and you need um, a 16 millimeter box end uh, wrench, a torque adapter. This is a 5 8 which is exactly equivalent to 16 millimeters. And this one is modified to be, it's to only be 7.75 millimeters thick, so that on the right hand side, uh, it fits correctly between the cam chain and the bolt for the intake cam on the other side. It's a tighter fit over there. So those are the basic uh, hand tools you need. You'll need uh, some kind of a ratchet. Uh, you'll need a spark plug coil puller and a spark plug socket for taking out the spark plugs. Uh, you'll replace the spark plugs in a 12K service with the LMAR8 AI-10 for the 1250. When you get to do the valve um, clearance checks and you have to measure the clearances, you'll need a, some kind of a magnet to get the shims out of the behind the follower and the valve tip. You need a set of feeler gauges. This is a set that uh, I have two sets, two parts of these. This is the intake set. It goes from um, 0.1 millimeters to 0.17. And I have the set for the exhaust, which goes from um, 0.30 up to 0.42. Um, you'll need crush washers and gaskets and things like that. For the shift head engine, you would need, uh, this is a 20 by 24 aluminum crush washer for the drain plug. You need a 16 by 20 aluminum crush washer for the uh, top dead center access plug. You'd need a couple of these uh, O-rings. Um, these are 17 by three millimeter um, O-rings that uh, seal the cam tensioner. I have a complete um, set of crush washers for all the series of engines. You'll need a torque wrench that goes uh, up to 65 Newton meters to tighten all the bolts on the end of the cams where the timing gears are if you have to adjust them. You'll need a smaller range. This is an inch pound uh, torque wrench in 3 8 that I use for torquing anything that's below 15 Newton meters. Uh, that's in the lower 20% of this larger torque wrench. So I don't use it. I use a torque wrench that, that uh, anything in a 15 Newton meter or below range is not in the bottom 20% of the scale of a torque wrench. Uh, you need the cam alignment jigs. This is a set. These are a pair. Um, this one goes on the, this side of the engine. This fits on the left-hand side of the engine. And this one fits on the right-hand side of the engine. They're a mirror, mirror set of each other. Um, you'll need a torque uh, sheet. This is a torque sheet that I have. I'll be a link in the description that uh, you can get this. You can download this and use it. Shows you all of the, uh, not only the torques for every tool that, uh, every plug or thing that you're going to open or close on this uh, engine, but also the, if it has a crush washer or an O-ring or notes about how to tighten it. And then on the way on the outside here, it's got which tool is used for uh, actually 
tightening or loosening the bolt that we're talking about. Um, you need an oil pan, some kind of an oil pan that when you open the rocker arm cover, the valve cover, you know, about total, about a, a cup of fluid and oil will come out of both sides of the engine that you'll lose and um, you need to catch that. You also need some kind of a cam uh, timing and valve clearance worksheet. Uh, the link will be below for this. Um, if you're changing, if you're doing valve clearance, you need to change shims. You need an assortment of shims. This is about 240 shims here that uh, represent a collection. These are all uh, 0 0.02 increment spacing, not the 0 0.04 that comes in the kit originally. I've added to this. You need a real high quality micrometer um, that can measure uh, these shims and the ones you take out as well. You do not need to replace the valve cover gasket every time you do this service. Um, lots of dealers insist that you change this. It's a very expensive part of it. I think it's about 60 or $80. I forget for sure, I've never bought one, but you can reuse this many, many times. Likewise, with the spark plug um, tunnel gasket, it doesn't need to be replaced each time either. So this is a basic overview of the tools that are gonna to be used uh, today when I do this um, cam timing and valve clearance check for this engine.